Hello again, everybody. In the other videos, we, um, we were working on Claire's cowl, and we had started off with a foundation chain, and I wanted to just put together a quick video showing you how to start off with a foundation double crochet. It's, uh, ten it's it tends to give you a nicer, uh, more even fabric, and also it gives you more stretch, which isn't critical for this project, but it might be critical if you're making a hat or, or something like that, where you want some stretch around uh, around the edge. Um, it's a nice thing to know how to do. So we start off, oh, first I wanted to show you just a comparison. Um, I worked up a couple of miniature versions of Claire's Cowl, and um, what you'll see is uh, one I started with a foundation chain and one I started with the double uh, foundation double crochet. And you can see the difference uh, when I stretch them. You'll see that the um, foundation double crochet stretches much further. And this is in cotton, which has no stretch to begin with. Um, you can even feel it. You know, you can when you when it stretches, you know that edge how it feels like it's binding. Um, it won't give way any further. Um, the uh, foundation double crochet has much more uh, gentle give to it, and um, you know it, it's it's. I've been stretching these out uh, quite a bit, and that's that. There is definitely um, much more elasticity in the foundation double crochet. So I just wanted to show you that uh, quickly um, as a comparison. I was just curious myself with, especially with the fiber like cotton that doesn't give way at all. Um, to see how much of a difference the foundation double crochet um, makes, and it does make a difference. Okay, so we're going to start off our foundation double crochet. We're going to chain three. This is the only time you're going to be chaining. Yarn over because we're doing double crochet. Insert into our first chain, yarn over. Pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's the repeat. That's all there is to it. You just keep doing that. Yarn over. You look for the chain. What you're doing is you're actually making your chain and you're making your first row of double crochet at the same time. Look for your chain that you just made. I kind of like I just kind of pinch it. I, I think it's because of the gauge that we're working with. You know, this is such bulky yarn. I, I can do this easily to to help find that chain. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over one. Pull through. Pull through two. Pull through two. And we're making our work vertically. Is that slip knot? Doesn't look like much now, I suppose. Okay, yarn over, look for your chain that you just made. Go through, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's it. Yarn over, look for the chain. In my head, I go one, one, two, two, so I can remember. It does have a certain rhythm, but then I start to, my mind wanders. Look for the chain. There's the chain right there, because if you, if you stand your stitches up, let me just take this hook out for a minute. If you stand your stitches up, where I'm holding, where I'm pinching, that's the chain. All this other stuff is the side of your double crochet. You'll get an eye for it. Yarn over. Through the chain. One. One. Two. Two. Yarn over. Through the chain. If you're having a problem finding the chain, you know, push your work so that your stitches are standing up. You know. One, one, 
Oops. Two, two. And over. One, one, two, two. Some more yarn. Yarn over. Blue Jays back. One, one, two, two, and over. Find a chain. One, one. I'm going to pinch the chain right now. Two, Oh, see, it's harder for me to do it that way. I thought I'd kind of hang on to that chain and see if it was like an easier way to do that, to find it again. But the way I hold my yarn in my left hand makes that difficult. Well, there it is right there. Maybe the way you hold your yarn makes it easier. You could, you could pinch. See, we did that first yarn over and pulled through one. Yarn over, pulled through one again. And that's the chain right there. That's the chain that you're making. And then you're doing your double crochet right now, because it's yarn over two, yarn over two, yarn over. And there's our chain. One, one. There's our new chain. Two, two. Yarn over. One, one. Two, two. And you want to make sure you go through both legs of the chain. Both legs of the V. One. One. Two. Two. Yarn over. One. One. Two. Two. I'll put a link in the description with a video to Crochet Ever After. She does a, a nice demonstration on how to do this as well. Um, sometimes it's easier to understand something when you see more than one person showing you how. And she's using like a regular size yarn, not this bulky stuff. It might be easier to learn. to see what's going on exactly. And over. doing the foundation this way. It's like I said, it's a little, it is a little tricky I think with the bulky because it's just kind of all, all over the place. But um, to try and find these stitches. But I still like it better than doing a chain. I find working with chains pretty wonky. No matter what weight the yarn is. Are we there yet? Uh, I don't think we're there yet. Uh, the pattern calls for 34. Uh, so that means we're going to do 33. Whatever the pattern calls for, we'll do one short of that because uh, we're going to be joining, joining in the round. You'll see when, when we get there, we'll still be making 34, just not um, not before we join. We'll make 33 before we join. 
and then we'll finish the 34th after. Is that chain? There he is. You know, maybe this doesn't look easier to somebody who's used to making the foundation chain. I don't know. the elasticity of it. I'm going to do a quick count because we might be getting close. All right, we got two, four, six. Wait a minute, I'm looking at the camera, I'm looking through the camera and over the camera at the same time and screwing myself up. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, 20, 22, sorry Jamie, 24, 26, 28, and we got 29 that we just did. So we're going to do 33, yeah, and over. Oops, we got goofy there. One, one, two, two, that's 30. Thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. Okay. Now to join. Um, excuse me, Jamie. To join, you want to make sure that your work isn't twisted. It's, you know, it's pretty easy to make sure that this work is not twisted. It's so huge. And then, oh, well, before we join. So we just did our 33rd um, double crochet. We're going to do the chain now. So it's kind of like we're going to go halfway through that process. We're going to do the yarn over like we did before. Um, look for the chain. Did I do that right? Yeah, that's right. Look for the chain just down here. Pull through one and pull through one just like before, but then you stop now. Stop before you do that double crochet. So this is our 33rd right here, and this will be our 34th, but we want to join right now. Um, because it's double crochet, we wanted to get our working point back down here so that it matches up with this point down here. Make a little more tension on that yarn. And then what you do is you just fold the work together so it's not twisted. I can't show you the whole piece on, on the camera, but get the idea. And then we're just going to do a slip stitch through through here where our slip knot is, that first chain. Slip through there. And then I'm just going to pull through like that. Slip through that that chain that we had on the hook. So now it's joined. It looks kind of sloppy, but it's it's joined. And now we finish this double crochet that's still sitting on the hook waiting to happen. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And that's our 34th. So now it's joined and it's joined, you know, equally. So we, we joined the slower point. Because if we had started to try to join while we were up here to down there, that would definitely not look right. And then we start the round. And we start it just like we did before. Yarn over and we start our, our uh, post stitches. We start the front post. Yarn over, pull through 
and then we go to the back post. So this is the same. Front post. So what we did is we did our our uh, foundation chain and, and that first row of double crochet at the same time. So now we're going right into the pattern um, of the front post and back post double crochet. I'm not going to keep going because um, this is the same as it was in the other videos where you just keep doing alternating your front post like we're doing right here and your back post. You keep going around and around. Now with this yarn, um, I did finish that other uh, skein yesterday um, and it uh, gave me six inches of, of fabric work this way. So. Um, I'm just using this as a demo. I'll, I'm going to frog this back and add it onto that. So together it should be about 12 to 13 inches, um, which is plenty for a nice big chunky cowl in front. I can't stop. It's so much fun. I just I love doing these post stitches. It gives you a nice, um, squishy, pliable fabric that you you don't get if you just do regular single crochets or regular double crochets. Even it's just um, it's all these holes, I, I guess, or I, I don't know exactly. And yet it isn't really holy, you know. It doesn't, you know, there's not all these big holes straight through. So it does give you some nice, nice drape. Okay, I'm going to stop now because this is the same as the other videos. But uh, I just wanted to show you that and um, it's, it's, it's a nice way to start a project. So, hope this was helpful and uh, happy crocheting!